this is just a lip balm. It's like a sleeping mask. I have to give this to a man. I think he might. I, <laughs> he might like it because oh, okay. he always carries chapstick. Uh -huh. all this all is the time. not. Good. Welcome to the Real and Relatable Podcast, where no topic is off limits. We're the girlfriends that keep it real and give you different perspectives because we know one way isn't always the right way. Hey everyone, welcome to the Real and Relatable Podcast. I'm Elsie. My name is Cash. I'm MB. I'm Ma. Today, we've got a special episode. I wanted to talk a little bit about beauty because I'm really a late bloomer into this space. Just within the last couple years, I would say I started really caring about skincare, body care. So I know these ladies are really good with all this stuff. So I wanted their advice on what their favorite products are. So today is gonna be a show and tell kind of day. So I want to start with skincare, and I asked MB to really share because um, skincare is really important to her. It's it's a huge part of her self care um, routine, and so I wanted her to share her favorite products. And the girls are gonna chime in as well. All right, so let's get started on body care. So this isn't everything that I use, but these are some of my favorite products. So the first thing I want to talk about is a body scrub. So I typically do this in the shower. This one is from Tree Hut. You guys might have like heard about it. It's pretty popular. It's a really good scrub. And the reason why I like this is because not only does it work really well, but it smells amazing. Mm. The smell actually stays on. I've gone mm -hmm. through so many tubes of those. Let's I it. love rose stuff, rose Me products because mm -hmm. it's light and feminine. Is that yeah. overpowering? Yeah. Oh. And the smell that does linger good. on your skin. Mm -hmm. So how often do you um, do the scrub? Like you do I try it to do it. Yeah, yeah. I do it in the shower. Oh, so oh I'll do it typically after my body wash. Okay. And I'll do it a couple times a week. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the only thing is, like, I just hate scooping it out with my hands. I know. Yeah, me too. Yeah. But, because it can get kind of messy. Yeah. But, I mean, I will still, like, I've used other scrubs before, but I always come back to this because it's okay. pretty affordable and it just smells so good. Then what I typically do when I get out of the shower is I have to lotion up. So I'll use an oil. And this is just the Up and Up brand by Target, but it works so well. Mm -hmm. And I've tried a lot of body oils before. Mm -hmm. And this one, the reason why I like it, it's really light, as you can tell. In comparison to other body oils, I don't like the feeling of it being sticky on my body forever, you know? Mm -hmm. So this one, it absorbs pretty quick. The bottle's kind of oily. The only gripe I have with this is that it can get pretty messy. I wish there was a pump. I've gone through a few bottles of that too. I've tried, again, other high-end oils, and I do not like it because it's too thick. Mm -hmm. This one is really light, so does the job. Yeah, I'll I'll put this on right when I get out of the shower when my body's still a little damp, so that way it absorbs. Mm -hmm. And then I'll go in with a lotion to kind of seal everything okay. in. And I really like this one by EOS. It smells really good, and it's pretty thick, but it's not so thick where it's hard to like blend in. And and it also smells really really good. Mm -hmm. I use this one or else the Vino one. Do you feel like depending on where people live, they might have to choose different products if it's super humid or super dry? Um, I think I don't know, because when I was in Minnesota, I still use these products. Okay. And now that I'm in Vegas, it's super dry here, but yeah. I still continue to use the same oh, thing. OK, because I, I really, really like feeling my skin being extremely moisturized. OK, so I'll still always use like the lotion at night and in the daytime. But then the oil, I just do it right after I get out of the shower. And you do this um, every time you shower. Yep. Like, yeah. So let's say you put this on and do you, would you feel comfortable putting on PJs or pants on? Okay. Yeah, I mean, it dries pretty quick. Okay. So I, I don't feel like there's like a residue okay. or anything. Okay, yeah, because I hate that. Yeah, okay. me too. And that that's why I like that oil mm -hmm. because it absorbs really quick. That oil alone is not enough to keep my body moisturized. Mm -hmm. So I always, always, always have to go in with a moisturizer. Mm -hmm. If I'm too lazy, I might skip the oil part of it and just do a moisturizer but always moisturize no the other day we were at the store where were we we were at Ulta because I needed to buy some purple shampoo and there's this box of body serum you know you put the body serum on before the lotion and I was like oh I'm gonna buy this and I was like this is dumb why would I put so many different things on my body like but I mean 
You put there's serum, a reason. You put serum on your face. Yeah, I mean, I know. It I is know, like but... an extra step, but that's for people that are really like meticulous about yeah. their skincare routine. So if you like can't even really remember to put on lotion, that probably doesn't make sense to do a body serum. Oh, this feels really good, actually. I just put the um, lotion on. Okay, <laughs> what's next? Yeah. So moving skincare. on to skincare, I do do like a few steps when it comes to my skincare. It kind of changes um, depending on my AM or PM routine. So typically, I always double cleanse, especially if I wear makeup. The only time I don't is when I'm not wearing makeup, then it doesn't make sense for me to. So I'll go in with an oil cleanser. And the one I really, really like is this one. Um, it's by Nua. I mean, if you guys are in the beauty realm, you guys know about this. Or else like an oil balm. Uh, you should Nua. always double cleanse, especially yeah. if you are wearing makeup. Um, the oil cleanser I use is the Yellow Mano brand. We'll insert a photo. Are they? Uh, is that Korean? Because this is a yeah, Korean yeah, brand. Okay. It's Korean. But the balm that I like a lot is the Clinique Take the Day Off. Mm. It's probably one of the best bombs you can use. I know there's like mm, the, yeah. the Dove one, which I tried and that I did not like. So yeah. can you explain what a balm is? It's like more congealed almost, like, like an oil, but it's congealed and it's in a balm. You just scrape it off yeah, mm -hmm. and then you rub it in your hand and it melts. Okay. So you can just, and it, yeah. yeah. When it melts, it melts your makeup off too. Yeah. Okay. Do you need mm -hmm. cotton swabs? No, no, no. You go with oh, the oil saying. first, mm -hmm. like no water. Wash it off mm -hmm. and then do your foam cleanser. Okay. Yeah. I didn't bring a cleanser on here just because I feel like when it comes to cleanser, you can just pretty much go with any basic one. Okay. It's not as important. Just base it off of your skin type. Mm -hmm. Like for me, I have more combination oily skin. So I do like more of a dental gel cleanser. But if you have dry skin, you should probably do more of a cream mm -hmm. cleanser. So it's not so stripping. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just realized I didn't have like a liquid exfoliant, but I do really like the Paula's Choice one. That one's okay. great. Um, I've good things about Paula's stuff. Yeah. You know, I, I love that brand. I have tried that one, but because I have dry skin, it doesn't Yeah, mm -hmm. It's probably too harsh where yeah. you can't use it as often. And there is like an kind of like an essence toner. I don't have one that I love. I currently am using the one by Nua and everyone loves that one. I just think it's okay, but I'm just using it up because, you know, I spent money on it. The toner that I like is the one that you and me have. Um, oh, so yeah. we'll insert oh a photo. Gosh. It's the one that you so try. Oh, yeah, I like, do really like that one. We'll so insert a photo. Guys. It's it's great. It's moisturizing. And, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's probably one of the best toners I've ever used. And I yeah. use a ton. It quickly absorbs. You don't. There's no like residue, but like it makes your skin feel like just like baby, baby soft, mm -hmm. yeah. smooth. I use it for two um, things. So I use it on a cotton pad to kind of um, wipe down after I already double cleanse, mm -hmm. okay. and then I pump some in my hand and then pat it into my. Oh, so I more like okay. So oh. what if somebody were to ask you, what really is a toner? What does it do? Why is it important? I use it to cleanse and then to prep your skin for mm. your toner. Mm -hmm. It's a good hydrator because when you're cleaning your face, you're stripping some of your oil, even if you use yep. a really gentle cleanser. Mm -hmm. So just kind of think of it as like your face being the sponge and the toner being like water. So before you can put soap, which is like the skincare product on it, it doesn't work effectively unless your sponge is damp, right? So for it to be damp, you have to put water on it. So the toner kind of essentially works as water. I've heard people say toner helps with pH balance. And it does. Yeah. That. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. that too. Yeah. So then yeah. the, the cleansing and moisturizing alone is not really sufficient. I think it's the toner just helps prep your skin. So that way it can absorb your serums mm -hmm. a lot better. Okay. Yeah. If you tone too, because we have this really good toner, like you notice a huge difference. Like right after you cleanse, like my skin is dry as heck. But yeah, my skin feels really dry after cleansing so the toner yeah. oh my gosh it just feels like yeah. your skin just bounces right okay. back you are very passionate about the words dry crocodile alligator <laughs> desert <laughs> i really feel like i have the you driest know? skin ever it yeah. doesn't look dry it looks okay. like looking at you so yeah, your skincare tell. products is probably pretty good okay i don't know yeah it feels dry or you prep your skin really well because it doesn't look dry okay i'm trying guys i'm trying <laughs> Okay, what's what's next? Um, so after I prep my skin, I will typically go in with a serum. 
But if I feel like my skin is extra dry prior to the serum, I do use this one. This is a Japanese brand. It's like a milk hydrator. And this one is also really good okay. for that extra moisture. Okay. I've repurchased it a couple times. So when my sister goes to Korea, she'll like grab me some because it's like cheaper. So I do really like that one too. And then I'll go in with my serum. This is just a hyaluronic acid serum and that's great for hydration too. This one works pretty well. It's just really standard. Okay. So how do you know when to use serums instead of lotion or to use it in combination? No, we use like, both. Yes. Yeah. I yeah, use it both. <laughs> in what order? You know how it's serum tea in the same order that we're serum no. complaining. Yeah. That After sounds like a lot of work, you guys. It's actually not like people think it is like super extensive, but it takes like seconds to put these products on. Okay. So a lot of layers. Well, she says seconds. I spend like an hour <laughs> yeah, in the bathroom. Does. It depends. Because, yeah. because I kind of wait in between, right? So I cleanse and then I tone I wait like a minute for that to kind of absorb and yep. then I do the serum let that mm -hmm. absorb a little bit yeah and then if I do a mask you know that's another 30 minutes for yeah. the mask to wow to absorb in yeah. I am really bad with mask yeah um, there's one mask that I really like it's the same brand as the toner that we like so I'll install oh, okay, okay it's probably one of the most hydrating masks I've ever mm -hmm. used mm -hmm. and it comes with a lot of extra essence so I keep the package afterward yep and use the essence yeah. on my face oh. so I don't throw away the package because there's so much essence in it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the reason why I started really caring about skincare is because of my melasma. Oh, it's uh, It started flaring up, I would say, like maybe four years ago now and it's gotten really bad like I my face is literally allergic to the sun now so I'm just being so protective of it using like all these medical grade products and trying to do the research so I learned that tests t-e-s so toner and then essence and then serum mm -hmm. but like you're gonna cleanse first okay. and then your toner and then your essence and then your serum and then your moisturizer okay. and then your makeup steps after that I'm curious, do you think that moving from New York to California with this extra sun has played a part on your melasma? Yeah, yeah, um, okay. because like it, it really started probably because I was going to Mexico too, too often, like twice a year, but also hormones and changes in my body. And then now in L.A. where it's yeah. warm and sunny year round. Time. I mean, like, I wish I had your guys in it. I didn't have this concern, but now I, I have to. We all have our own skin yeah. concerns. Yeah, you have your own, yeah. When I moved from, when we moved from Minnesota, I didn't realize how harsh the L.A. sun was. Yep. And so I did develop dark spot from the sun. And so now I lather on sunblock, but, yep. you know, it's a little bit too late. So now I was trying to fix mm. the damage that's mm. already happening. Yeah. Yep. I also change it between this one. This one is more of a retinol, but it's super gentle and it feels really good on the skin. Mm. It's not drying like other retinols. Mm. So I really like it. And it's good for texture, fine line, wrinkles. So I do like that one. I've repurchased it a couple times. So with my morning routine, I will switch out the retinol for uh, vitamin C. Vitamin C is just really good for brightening the skin. This one I really, really like. I've repurchased a couple times too. It's really um, moisturizing on the skin and it smells really good. And then, yep. And then I just go in with a moisturizer. Um, I'm not, I mean, I am picky with my moisturizer. But the one that I've been really liking is this. This one's a little bit thicker. So I like putting this one on when my skin does, um, it's extra dry or I'm trying to repair my skin barrier. And what is it called? It's Korean. Yeah, it's Korean. So I'm not sure. It's thicker. But then I feel like with the thinner gel-like moisturizer, it doesn't work for me because I feel like even though I have oily skin, you would think it's... Oh like better mm -hmm. but I feel like when I put it on it just dries up really quick and then my skin's not left moisturized where oh. if some, something like that I feel like my skin is hydrated this one is just kind of optional for when you want to it's just a hydrating spray so like throughout the day if you feel like your skin is dry you can just use this to touch up so like if you're traveling and you just want something on hand um, this one's really good and it's pretty popular so that's how I found out about it wow this is uh, fancy it says double layer serum enriched with white truffle from Italy I'm always looking at the ingredients so on one day I was a castor oil isn't that like industrial oil and I went down this rabbit hole of googling and researching castor oil and apparently it's good for everything under the sun and I'm obsessed with castor oil right now so it's a good thing it's a good thing okay. so now I'm gonna like research okay. shuffle for 
skin. I would say personally for me, when I'm looking at products, I just don't trust anything made in China. Why is that? Mm-hmm. Because I feel like in, in China, the the standards are mm-hmm. either non-existent or very low mm-hmm. as far as safety and ingredients. Yeah. So anything that I see, even soap, even candles, mm-hmm. if candles are made in China, I'm not going to buy them. I think it's and, like you have to go with a reputable brand. Yeah, um, I don't know. I no, still don't. Yeah. Then yeah, the next maybe. thing is sunscreen. You always, always Ugh. have to put sunscreen on. I know that there's the Beauty of Joseon one. I really like that one too. But I recently discovered this one because everybody was talking about it. And I, I really like this one too. It works just as good as the Beauty of Joseon one. And it's also really light. So it's like moisturizer it, pretty what is much. It a centella. Okay. I was telling you guys that I discovered the Joseon SPF. I love the texture. It goes on smooth and it's beautiful. It feels great on your skin, but I don't think it works for my skin. Oh, really? Yeah, because we went out to lunch and the next day, a dark spot, like my melasma, like popped up. Oh, oh, and I was like, oh, sh. It's not yeah. strong enough for me. Is it Which from is crazy. That? I don't know. I'm going to blame it on that. Um, because but it is could it be. like that instant? Because usually yeah. when it's sun. For melasma, oh, it is. is that instant melasma react? is like oh, wow. very reactive to sun oh. um, and heat. So I sh- can't do hot yoga. I can't do saunas. I can't do laser. I can't do any of that stuff because oh. heat will like immediately activate it. Yeah. So I'm blaming the Joseon, but it could just be because I was out for like four hours I sunscreen is meant to be reapplied so yeah i mean yes it may not it's still an spf like 40 or 50, 50 yeah 50 so which that's why i was shocked because when i use uh, my medical grade stuff i also don't reapply and it's fine so i don't know it could just be whatever i was doing that day and like the direct contact of sun also, I wasn't wearing a baseball cap, you know, or, you know, so there's a lot of Another things factor. I need to cancel out, but I'm just going to blame uh, Joseph for my own uh, skin issue. And I uh, went back to using my medical grade. It feels so good, though. Yeah. 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 I have two sunscreen. I like the Beauty of Joseon one. Mm-hmm. And there's another one. It's Korean brand. Ooh. We'll have to insert a photo because... I didn't bring it because I'm out of it. <laughs> um, but those are the two sunscreens I like. I think out of all my skincare, if I don't do anything, I always make sure I wear some a screen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then at night, if I don't do anything, I always make sure I at least double cleanse. Mm-hmm. So even if I skip the serum and all that stuff, I always make sure I double cleanse. Even if you don't wear makeup? Yeah. You double cleanse? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. You guys are very disciplined. When I was in Minnesota, we don't have a lot of sun most of the year. So I never really wore sunscreen. I should have. Oh, wow. Because even with the clouds, you know, it doesn't matter. Yep. All the UV it still penetrates through the clouds, right? I thought it was not as necessary because we all turn pale by December, mm. January, yeah. February. Everybody mm-hmm. turns really pale. That's why people make fun of pale skin and we want to get tanned and in shape in time for summer summertime because we just don't go out. Maybe that's mm-hmm. why. So I just do a cleanser. I just kind of hop around from different things from Sephora. Like, obviously, everybody loves Tatcha. I don't know if everybody does, but I love Tatcha mm-hmm. and um, a variety of different other things, but just cleanser. I used to use toner here and there, but mm-hmm. it's not consistent and I, I, I've stopped. Mm-hmm. And then I'll just use moisturizer. But I'm very, just very basic. But you have really good skin. So yeah, that's probably you why you can afford to just be very. Yeah, I mean, basic I don't. With your I don't skin. have to do much with yeah. my mm-hmm. skin. Yeah, you know, I, I think I'm normal, yeah. oil wise, mm-hmm. and just it's, it's pretty easy. Count yourself lucky, okay? You know, when you start seeing skin issues, it's like trying to catch up and trying yeah. to, you know, f- fix what could have been prevented. It's better just to maintain than yeah. have to fix it because mm-hmm. not only is it way more expensive to fix it, mm-hmm. some some of the stuff you can't reverse. Yeah. So like yeah. for uh, sunscreen and sunspots and stuff, you don't see yeah. it right away. It takes That's years true. for the sunspots to appear. That's true. So it's it's almost like if you, you, you think that, okay, I can get away with it because mm-hmm. for the last couple of years, I haven't had to. And then you start developing the sunspots. And yeah. yeah. Those are really tough to get rid of. Mm-hmm. But you know what's funny? I'm really big on like sunscreen on my face, but I don't really apply sunscreen on my body, which is Same. bad. Same. Your yeah. neck, I heard it helps because yeah. you're going to have wrinkly neck. neck well, well, with the um, moisturizer, touch. I bring it down. But okay. just for my body, I typically don't because for one, I don't burn. Yeah. And I like looking tan yeah yeah 
not that that's like a good excuse not to wear sunscreen, <laughs> but yeah. I am really bad about putting sunscreen on my body and I need to get better. Yeah. Especially out here in LA because, you know, cancer, yeah. they say, right? The, the yeah. thing is, and you guys can tell me if you guys have a really good body, sunscreen body lotion, mm -hmm. but yeah. every one that I've tried is so sticky and yeah. I hate Thick. the smell. Yeah. Yes. Have you tried spray? I hate sprays yeah. even more. Oh, yeah. It's oily yeah. then. No, it's not necessarily oily. Really? There's a brand. I, I'll, I'll, sh I'll show it to you. Okay. Guys. It's at home. I don't have it. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let me know because all the ones I've tried so far, I hate. Okay. I only put it on if I'm going to lay out though. Or like if we're going to be out on the te uh, playing tennis for a few hours and mini yeah. skirts and my legs are exposed. Yeah. I, I wonder, do do, do, you know. do most people put body sunscreen on? I want to know. I'm do pretty you guys sure do? they do. Like if you're like in a bathing suit, you're laying out, you right definitely should because they're everyone is like even if you're indoor you have to put sunscreen on yeah mm -hmm. But that's on your face. Yeah. So I don't know how it is on your body. Yeah. I think depending on your hobbies and your line of work and what you do for fun, you should. When I go hiking, I do. Okay. Um, and I will say my dad golfs. If you golf, you should always be wearing sunblock yeah. and sunscreen, especially on your neck. Yep. His, my dad's neck is so dark. Yeah. He never wears sunscreen. But I think that's most golfers. Yep. Yeah. Or anyone who goes out. Like my fiance, yeah. he does not put on sunscreen. He's out there for hours. Uh, oh, guys, man. guys don't think about yeah. those things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They should. I think my dad does. <laughs> have time for that either <laughs> and just to finish it off this is just a lip balm it's like a sleepy mask i just oh, always put this yeah. one on, on at night it's again you guys should know what it is it's a Laneige sleepy mask yeah. lip sleepy mask it, yeah what does it do i have just one okay. from neutrogena that i love oh okay you not think yeah mm -hmm. yeah okay and it's just really good i mean again my only gripe is that you have to dig your finger in it. it's not very sanitary it comes with a little spatula i don't even know where mine is lose it <laughs> You know, I love those. You were asking, what does it do? Yeah. Um, I used to have to put on chapstick all the time, right? Oh. If I put a, a lip um, sleepy mask on at night, at night, my lip is moist, yeah. okay. moist all really day nice. the next day. I have to gift this to a man. I think he might, I, <laughs> he might like it because oh, okay. he always carries chapstick. Uh -huh. all this all is the not time. convenient to carry, though. No, no, no. no, 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 no nighttime. Oh, okay. Night, so she, that he won't yeah. have to <laughs> chapstick. She's saying if you sleep with I, it. I don't know no. if he will like it because I will get my fiance to wear it at night. Sometimes he hates it because he oh. doesn't like the feeling of it being thick on his lips. Oh, okay. Sh okay. I'll well, share you mine. You know, we'll, okay. we'll link hers and my Neutrogena one. I'll have to try yours. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, try it. I'll try it and then I'll salt. gift it to yeah. that man. Because <laughs> this is pink, so maybe uh, it's mine because mine is white. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's not actually pink. It's transparent when you put on your lip. Oh, the yeah. packaging is just <laughs> yeah, pink. Okay, yeah. yeah, but and then like, you know, they have the lip glossy too, but it does not feel the same. I wish mm -hmm. they had this in a stick form. So oh, it's yeah, easier right. for me. Oh, but my oh, lips yeah. are constantly dry. Yep. So I have to have like chapstick lip balm lip moisturizer everywhere i go okay, it doesn't matter yeah. how much i put on oh it. yeah i still have have you guys crazy that you guys all three you she's guys, different she does not yeah i never use chapstick she, she claims wow. she must have blessed lips yeah no well because i've never used it so i never had to use it remember carmex that's what people oh, say yeah people say if you use carmex it makes it so you always need to reapply because it sucks yeah. out the moisture that's why sometimes people are like do you have chapstick i'm like no that's like the one beauty product that I don't have. Yeah, I've heard that where they're like your lips becomes dependent on it. That it doesn't know how to generate the moisture yeah. on its own. And maybe that's what happened to I me. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. I, all I know is I don't use chapstick. It's funny because like they say lip fillers are supposed to help lump and moisturize your lips. Really? I've gotten lip fillers once and I wanted to see if it did. Did it? It didn't do I anything. I can't imagine that it would because do anything. Because hyaluronic acid that okay. they're injecting. Um, oh okay. so like they're like it's supposed to like help moisturize it but i'm like i i didn't notice a difference mm, with the moisture of my lips i still have to constantly put on lip balm it's oh. just my lips are always dehydrated no okay. matter what i do yep okay. but the sleeping mask really helps right does it, it does it okay. does help but it doesn't mean that i i don't need to reapply throughout the day the next day i really? do yeah okay I, I will do. do my sleeping mask and then I'll do it in the morning, like, you know, along with my skincare routine and then I'm good. Like, I don't You wipe it off before oh. you go out for the day? I, you can leave it on. Oh. No, my it just I just absorb. It it's it's kind of, it's like All chapstick yeah. pretty much, oh, you know? Yeah. Okay. It's not like a face There's... mask where you yeah, have to no. take off. Yeah. It just they got call it that, yeah. but it's not really. Cool. Thank you so much for sharing, MB. Oh, We're going to link out the stuff. I'm going to try oh, some of this stuff. Moving on to makeup. Yeah. 
moving on to makeup i did start using primer i don't have it here but i do like hourglass and i do like the hourglass primer mm -hmm. it's amazing okay. it comes over very smooth over your skin and when you put your makeup on you'll see that it sits differently okay um, on your skin and obviously when you do your eyeshadow the, the makeup it stays better. Oh. So I really love the Hourglass face okay. primer. I'm a fan of Hourglass. Hourglass is a clean makeup, so it just uses clean ingredients, and so that is why I prefer to use it. This <laughs> is a concealer I use. I do have um, I do have okay. a, a scar on my face, and so if you have like any kind of acne scar or anything like that, this this for me it works well and it balances out. So you'll have to find your shade. This is in Apricot Vanish, but it is amazing. This is also Hourglass, and it's my favorite uh, brow pencil. It's amazing. Really? There's a brush on one side, so it's thicker, and I like the thicker ones because I don't like the thin ones because I feel like oh my gosh, it's a lot of work to do all the yeah. drawing and stuff. Oh. So for me, I just like to go over the thickness and just do the shape. Ma's really good at eyebrow application and she's told me for the skinny pencils sometimes you can kind of draw the streaks of the hair yeah. streaks so i can see where that may come in handy yeah. uh, i just don't have the patience or time for that for the most part okay. this color is a uh, soft brunette mm -hmm. and I, I love it i can't do i can't travel or go on my day without it yeah. um and then my favorite uh foundation is the ysl all hours foundation with sunscreen spf 30. Mm -hmm. uh i have uh when i spoke to a few beauty experts some beauty experts don't like spf in their foundation because mm -hmm. they say that the spf messes with the consistency of foundation so they recommend you just putting on your uh, your spf first and then a foundation without spf but for me i always I don't mind the consistency of this. It works well. Mm -hmm. um, I have normal skin, so it's not too heavy. It's not too dry. It's a medium coverage. Even though I use sunscreen like 50 before, I also like that this has a little bit in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah, it works for me. And if you haven't tried it, I would definitely recommend all three of these for sure. I've heard really I'm good things it. about the foundation, the all yeah. hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's all. Yeah, for I'm sure. not really a foundation person. Uh, I have one foundation, probably not even the right color for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I only use that foundation for like photos, like mm -hmm. if I'm actually taking real photos. And some of our episodes I have it on, but I'm really just a concealer and powder person. Mm -hmm. um, just because I've never found a foundation that I really like. Uh, mm -hmm. All of them feels thick. And they're drying. I, and, and, yes, all of them feels thick. All of them feels dry. I, it doesn't matter what brand it is, how liquidy it is, or how thin they claim it to be. It, it just always, I can always feel it on my skin. So that's why I don't like foundation. Mm -hmm. I'm very much a concealer and powder person. And so, yeah. So you only can do the conceal. You don't do your whole face nope. then. You're okay, okay. Yeah. So I've gone through a lot of concealer. Okay. A lot of them are really, really thick. Yeah. And because yeah, yeah. I have uh, dry skin, it's really important that my concealer isn't thick. Mm -hmm. So I do like the Kosas. Okay. Uh, yeah. The Kosas um, concealers. Okay. I've heard that some people that it broke some people out. Oh. It, okay. it, it hasn't. Yeah, um, broke me out so okay. that's why I still like it mm -hmm. it's thin it's hydrating but still provides me with that coverage mm -hmm. um, so I use two colors the um, lighter one is for my under eyes to kind of brighten mm -hmm. and then the one that's closer to my skin tone is to cover up like dark spots mm -hmm. so like dark spots here dark spots here and sometimes when my chin is like really red I put it here mm -hmm. so then I just blend it all in and then I set everything uh, so there's two uh, mm -hmm. things I set with so Givenchy Luke. Oh my god, that's so powder. good. That's probably like that one powder. Of the best. Oh. I haven't tried it yet, so yeah, I haven't. It's it it. a little bit expensive, so but Huda Beauty, their um, loose powder is also just as good. Um, oh. mm -hmm. But I do like this one. I have the one in like the pinkish color because if you put pink uh, underneath your eyes, it kind of brightens it up more. Versus, just I didn't the... know it comes in a different color. Yeah, <laughs> there's three. There's three different shades. Oh, <laughs> I just got the one that was in front of my face, <laughs> and it's great. <laughs> it's the pink one. Okay, so I love yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> so the pink one, if you put, you know, you, you put pink underneath your eye, it brightens up your eye. Oh, okay. uh, whereas, you know, if you use that's closer to your, your on skin tone, it just doesn't really brighten up your eye. Okay. So I do love those. Mm -hmm. um, Can you? Is it just more finely milled in comparison yeah. to like the Laura Mercier? Like everyone loves that one. You know, I like that one too, but I feel like this is better. This oh, one really? is much more fine. Oh. So it's so fine, you put it on and it just uh, melts. And melts into yeah. your skin. It, it, just, it like, just blurs. What does it actually do? It kind of just tops off your layer after you're done. 
or it evens it out. Or it, well, it well, it sets, yeah, everything and set it sets, it. it smooths, and it kind of, and it, depending on the color, brightens up your skin too. So you pat it all over. Um, this one brush. I don't. This one is just underneath my eyes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But your I, other one, you will do it pretty I, much all over. And then I have Charlotte Tilbury. Um, Press powder that I just kind of do all of my. Well, I don't think these uh, setting yeah. powders are meant to be all over. Okay, no, no, no. it's okay. just certain certain areas. areas. Yeah. Okay, yeah. got it. I mean, I have seen my makeup gurus who done the whole, the whole thing. Oh, powder all over your face oh, challenge, wow. and yeah. it looks nice. It's just that's not for me. Got it. Mm. Um, but only two other things that I absolutely re recommend when it comes to makeup, and trust me, I've tried a lot of makeup. Yeah, this girl. Yeah, you do. These two girls, they try a lot of products, like, all the time. We're kind of, like, the tried We're and minimal. True. We kind of yeah. stick to what works for us. Exactly. Um, but they're, like, the experimenters. Yeah, I mean, you probably can't tell because it looks like I probably don't have any makeup on, but I used to do makeup. <laughs> <laughs> well, in some photos that, yeah, yeah, that yeah, I've yeah. actually done before. Uh -huh. um, but the... Eyeliner I like is by Cleo. Uh, oh, it's wow. called the Kiel Black. I thought this is going to be a lip liner because it's red. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Korean brand, but it's um, by Cleo. Is it liquid? Yeah, it's, okay. it's a liquid liner. It's probably one of the best liners mm -hmm. I've ever used. I'll have to try and that. I use a lot of liner. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It looks beautiful. I like that one. I like uh, they have a waterproof <laughs> one. They have the brown one, which I also oh, really like too. Okay. It's really fine, and it's it goes on really black and dark. Do you think it's going to work on my eye? What is it called again? What do I have? Hooded eyes. Hooded eyes. Yeah. Is it going to work on my hooded eyes? Yeah, you can try it. Yeah. Mm. And then the last beauty pro product, it's, not, it's, okay. it's a tool uh, I love, is a, the heated eyelash curler. Oh. oh. Uh, I got this on Amazon, okay. uh, but oh, on the days that I'm not wearing falsies, I curl my lashes with the regular lashes, and then I turn this on and wait for it to heat, and then I clamp it on. And it stays curled. It stays curled. Okay. Uh, Cleo also makes a waterproof um, mascara as well, which I do have upstairs. And I love it. Oh. Like the combination of this and that waterproof mascara really? makes my lashes <laughs> look like this. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I'll have to try that. Yeah. You know what my trick is? Like you, they, you can like uh, blow dry your regular uh, curling iron. Yeah. So that, I mean, make I it mean, hot. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that it's hot and then you do it. I mean, you could, this, but this yeah. one more, more convenient. Yeah. 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 Cool. But yeah, Clio does make uh, really good okay. waterproof mascara and I'll put it up here. Mm. But they also came out with the waterproof mascara remover. Mm. Uh, because, you know, waterproof okay. mascara, when you try to yeah, touch it, to it take. Yeah. doesn't yeah. matter what kind of cleanser you use it's for takes forever but that mascara remover that they have yeah. it's the best uh -oh. it's yeah. the best we're gonna move on to hair because these are my other products now. yeah so hair is something that uh i kind of really took a big interest in in the last few years only because my hair used to be thick and then i bleached it 300 million times and so i think i'm pretty much going bald at this point because <laughs> i because i don't know how to stop bleaching my hair um, one product that's not here because I ran out is the Vegamore Grow Serum. That's mm -hmm. the one yeah. that I use to grow back this part right here. There used to be like no hair here. Mm. Yeah, I put it on every night, kind of like moist, kind of rub it in. Yeah. And so hair finally started growing back. So it works. That stuff yeah. works. Vegamore oh. works. I've, I've tried it before right. and I was like, oh, yeah, you know, just to maintain. And then my hair got super thick, even just using it a couple of times. I was like, I can't use wow. this because I already wow. have thick hair. Yeah. I'm going to be just all here, you know, so I actually stopped. Yeah, but she has thick hair, I so do. it works for her that way. Where people like me who has a little bit thinner hair, it takes a little bit longer for it uh, to actually oh, work, for okay. it to actually show. I will say it took anywhere between six months to six to eight months to for hair okay. to really mm -hmm. fill up that spot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so... It's important yeah. uh, and use it every night. The other um, hair products I absolutely love, as you can tell, it's like almost out. I'm like using every inch I can. Every <laughs> drop of it. Yeah, is my shampoo. Um, this one is the Anne Honey one. It's a Japanese brand. I didn't bring the conditioner because I don't really care for conditioner as much because I usually use masks. Mm -hmm. But this shampoo is the best. It lathers really well. It smells great. Let me smell it. It makes my hair soft. It makes it shiny. Oh my God, it's like 
It does smell oh, good. I, I'll have to try And it. I've tried a lot of shampoos, too. Mm-hmm. Like, Yeah, this girl and her <laughs> hair care stuff. Yeah. You know, I love the Asian hair care because it smells so pretty. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. light. You know, yeah. it's not it's overpowering. Like it's, yeah. yeah. It smells so beautiful. I wish there was a, yeah. a perfume. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Of it. And the nice thing about the shampoo is, is if you're, especially if you're somebody who washes your hair every day, the product is light enough that it doesn't strip your hair. Mm-hmm. I actually double shampoo with that shampoo, okay. which is why I'm almost out of it. Yeah, out of all really good things out of this. Tr- I've tried. That's probably the best. And I tried really high end, expensive hundred dollar shampoos, and mm-hmm. I still think that's the best. So where do you buy this? So I got it at there's a new like Japanese Korean store at the Santa Anita Mall in oh. LA. Mm-hmm. In LA, okay. Oh, okay. But you can yeah. find it online. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can find it online too. But I we'll like we'll find a link. Uh, yeah, and put okay. it up. And then the last thing, probably the one I like the most, Milblend, I think that's the name. It's also Japanese. Oh, I love this um, brand. They do make shampoo and conditioner too. The shampoo and conditioner is also great. And they do actually mm-hmm. have the shampoo and conditioner in the salons. So salons use them. Okay. Yep. This one is actually a soothing moisturizer for your scalp. Oh, um, okay. So if you have like a dry, itchy scalp, Basically, what you do is you spray it onto your scalp and massage it in. Mm-hmm. The nice thing I like about it is that it doesn't make my hair oily. It doesn't weigh my hair down. Mm-hmm. Is you, it an oil? It's meant to be like a serum for your scalp. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. And it smells good. Okay. Like, it's out. I wanna, so <laughs> it, it's not like you do it in the shower. It's like no, out no, of shower yeah. anytime. Yep. So your hair is dry. It's not okay. Dry. Yep. So your hair is dry. Okay. Um, you can use it throughout the day. I know I'm I almost out because at one point my my scalp was really itchy. Uh-huh. Um, so every time I spray this on, moisture in, oh my God, my head feels it's so sweet. Wow. So nice. Okay. Yeah. I actually, I love this Milbon, um brand. Oh, I yeah. um, have the hair texturizer and the hair spray and mm. they're so good. They smell so good. Yeah. Okay. I think right away I'm going to order this and this yeah. based on your your experience and the Vegamore. If you don't use oh, Vegamore, Vegamore yet, you have You're to try it. Yeah, yeah. Vegamore, Vegamore. You yes. can get it at Sephora. It is a little expensive, but I, just I have to be consistent. Yeah, I okay. do absolutely think it's worth it. I, I think it yeah. works too. I know that some women who are thinning hair they use wom- Rogaine for for women. Mm-hmm. You have never tried that. Just Vegamore. I have never tried that. No. Okay. Okay. Castor oil is supposed to be good for the hair growth Castor too. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the thing about oiling your hair is that you really have to make sure you wash it out. Because I do oil my hair like once a week. Um, yeah, you and do. it's a mixture of castor oil, a couple other oils that we have, and it's yeah. in a bottle. And basically, yeah, put it on your scalp, let it sit for a few hours, and yeah. then really and then wash, wash it out. It out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, but I have a cute couple other Korean brand um, shampoo, <laughs> of course, and scalp cleaners that really cleans your it scalp. takes so yeah. yeah because here is more for about. like growth no. yeah, yeah. For, uh, i it tried oiling my hair once okay. and it's just i i don't like yeah, it yeah no me yeah. it's it's a lot of work i think people like the point that everyone missed when it comes to hair is scalp health is yeah the most important thing so i don't even really wash the ends because you know the suds from the sh- uh, shampoo will wash it itself, mm-hmm. um, but I really focus on my scalp okay. and keeping that healthy, keeping that moisturized, because that's the only way my hair is gonna grow. Maybe you guys should be using head and shoulders like I do. No, I tried your head <laughs> and shoulders, and that's when my head, it. and that's why my head got dry and itchy. Oh, because it was like too hard. You yeah, head and shoulder. Yeah. yeah, you know it's so funny. Like my hairstyles will be like, oh, what shampoo do you use? I think like, I use head and shoulders because that's my dad's favorite shampoo, so oh I just grew up using it. <laughs> And I love it, but I think maybe it's because I have really thick yes. hair. Yes, so it, works it works for, for you. me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't use it every day. Maybe a couple times a week. Um, and then I have other shampoos that I use, but it really cleanses my scalp and my hair because it's mm-hmm. so thick. It takes right, out. keeps my scalp clean and um, my hair and everything mm-hmm. oil free. It sounds clean. like it's heavy s- s- stripping. Yeah, like probably. Strips. Yeah, it probably. Is. yeah. So if you have thin hair then maybe don't try it and you yeah yeah, yeah. no no because no, i tried it because she swore by it so i was like okay, okay i'm gonna try this head and shoulder thing and i Were tried you using it every day no oh. like every other day or whenever i was i was trying to train my hair which is something you shouldn't do anyways um so when i did wash it i just remember my head started getting really itchy oh. and that's how i found that mm-hmm. uh melbourne product and okay that's when it started <laughs> feeling better oh, i just okay. stopped using head and shoulders completely okay, nobody don't follow my my instructions follow <laughs> the experts okay <laughs> did you have something for here too oh okay. just the oil oh, yeah. oh i'll touch on it really oh, quick yeah. this is a really great oil. i don't oil my hair like the mask but this is just a really really thin hair oil i i've tried other oils yeah, and i try some it. after yeah it's yeah. super it thick good. 
but and it smells one. so good like okay. i swear to like asian hair care yes they smell so good i don't know what yeah. it is i feel like they use the, the herbal scent. It's, like it's a herb, herb, it's, it's not fruits yeah. it's the flowers it's like you know what flower. i mean yeah it's just sure. smells, yeah but it's not like not chemical too much yeah, yeah. okay it's yeah. really soft. eco clinic multi-therapy hair treatment yeah. cool okay yeah, yeah i like yeah, it. i have like the uh the travel size of that one because oh, i don't so put good. a lot of oil in my, yeah. in my hair um so the travel size is mm-hmm. sufficient yeah uh, but i will say one more thing about hair i just recently got the jolie head um head shower oh um, yeah, yeah. Help. it's filtered water oh my god do you love it i love it really Why? because we live in la and the water's so hard terrible you, yeah. you notice the difference oh my god absolutely really, really? yes absolutely. was it hard to install the no bulb? No, my fiance, his parents got us like a really nice one. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, and it's it was pretty expensive too. So I can't. Oh, wow. yeah. 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 No, I love it. My hair's maybe soft. for the other my bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. The, the water in LA is just so hard. It is hard. It's yeah. harsh everywhere. If you like. Okay, guys, thank you so much for sharing. I'm definitely gonna try a bunch of this stuff. You know, so I'm really excited. But hope you guys are too. And share some of your favorite products too for what's working for um, whatever you're dealing with or your skin condition. Like I'd love to learn and try some stuff out. So thank you so much, guys. Until next time. Bye. Bye.